relaxing after a hard day and it's really nice here because there's a nice breeze from the from the ocean and I'm thinking it's so noisy here but in about an hour or two it's gonna be real quiet and real nice and it's just Tel Aviv it's just such a unique city that there's always a way of escaping um, if you go to a city like Petr Tikva, like I was today, there's no way to escape. You're just stuck there. And there's just buildings and shopping centers, and it's just difficult, I feel. Here you have the ocean, right there. You can go to the ocean. You don't have to go in it. Um, it's just really a great feeling. Whenever you can live next to an ocean or a lake, it just gives you a feeling that you can escape. Um, so, look at those kids. There's just, it's so um, diverse, the amount of people here. There's just so, diff so many different types of people here. And it's cool. I love it in that way. And so, it's been a difficult day. I'll tell you why. The noise level, the noise level of people of the kids in kindergarten was just unbelievable. I came a little bit late and I guess the, um, there should have been a division. There were like three women and there was such a lot of noise and they had no idea how to control the noise. All they had to do is let some of the kids go outside and play. They let them out to play at 12 so the kids can come home and say they went outside. 12 is very, very warm and the kids I don't know how they don't get like a heat stroke or something. Soon it's going to be too hot anyway. I don't know why they chose to be inside till 12. I really don't. I, I would definitely not do choose to do it that way. And next time I'm going to feel I'm in control. Because I'm supposed to feel like I'm in control. Even though I'm not a regular teacher. So she told me to take every time five kids. And I agree. I took groups of five kids and did yoga with them. Uh, it went well. I explained to them the ideas of yoga. We practice. The teacher, the regular teacher does yoga too. So she has a different way a little bit of doing things. With kids, uh, you use images of flowers to inhale and birthday candles to extinguish, to exhale. It was nice. I, w I took like four groups. Since I have a cold, I really got, was really tired. I was really glad to come home. Came home to, a, you know, my home is not functioning. <laughs> There's so much to do at home, whether it's putting away food, cooking, cleaning. And I'm really tired. I'm really tired when I have to do it all by myself. Um, I really wish I didn't have to do it all by myself, but um, sadly, sadly, uh, I'm not going to get help because um, it's too late to teach kids over 18 that they have to help at home. You try to explain the logic, but when there's no compassion, when there's no compassion. What are you going to do? I'm so tired of trying to explain how important it is. I mean, I did get some help, some cleaning on Friday, but all in all, I feel like I'm the only one who, can, who has to do things and it's tiring. It's really, really, really tiring. Frustrating, especially since I'm so much older than my son. And I don't know what else I can do. But I know my mother didn't train me to help out. She had so much energy, which I can't even... I don't know where she gets all that energy. I don't know. I really don't. But I'm, I'm tired. I also used to go to sleep at like 8 o'clock in the evening. That's what I remember. <laughs> so right now... Oh my God, this woman looks like... Uh, look, look. 
this person, look at this person, looks like they're going for bees, a beekeeper. A beekeeper. My son did point out the corona. <laughs> It only affects, um, in Israel, we really don't have a lot, like 1,000 people, is it? 2,000? I don't know. I'll have to check the numbers for you. Um, affected. And we have 8 million people. Uh, everything is relative, of course, but the hysteria is unbelievable because it is highly contagious. You can't go on the bus without masks. And I have a cold, but it can be misconstrued to be corona. I don't have corona. I don't have a fever. Well, I just have a cold because of the air conditioning in my uh, workplace. People put on air conditioning. I don't know. What do you think, Shoshana? I just love hanging out with the kids, with the dogs, I mean. But. I'm going to go to every job I can. I'm just going to stick to the rule never to go out of Tel Aviv if I can help it. It just feels good though to work because I have so much ideology and so much I want to accomplish in life and I feel that this is the place, education is the place. I felt it when I had the opportunity to go to art school, I chose instead to, to study education because I feel that Despite the difficulties, the frustration, education is the place where I feel, yes, I can do something. I can help. And I'm also working on myself at the same time. I'm also always working to improve myself. Peace, I and love. And there's the dogs. From very busy, very lively, television.